Okay, people. Hey, this is Chris from ChristopherJ.net. I hope you're doing well. This is my lesson number DB11, and I'm going to talk about position numbering systems on the double bass, on the neck of the double bass. Um, as I've moved into the bass or the double bass world, I've learned that there are apparently two major schools of thought on numbering systems for the neck of the bass. There's one by Franz Samandel. I have his big orange book. I've read the, his numbering system and it's just kind of weird for me. I, you know, understand it in my mind, but I don't really apply it in practice too much. Um, and then there's the, uh, the Rabath method, which I haven't studied at all, although I've glanced at his chart. I think I come from too many years of guitar background to really make the switch, so I decided to adapt what I know to work on the double bass. Now if you look at the diagram on the screen it shows you some of the semandal positions, not all of them, um, but some of the major ones that I can remember and how those line up with the notes on the neck and how all of that lines up with what would be a fret number on a, an electric bass or on the guitar. In practice when I'm playing I think of a few major landmarks on the neck in terms of these imaginary fret numbers. And as you know, or maybe you don't know, but each fret represents one half step in pitch. If you're familiar with the guitar, and I'll show you my guitar. On the guitar, most guitars have dots or some other kind of inlay on the fretboard at different positions. Um, most guitars have a dot or an inlay on the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, and 12th frets. And the 12th fret would be the octave. And then that same pattern usually continues on up past the octave as far as it can go. So I took that, that map, imaginary map of dots that's in my mind, and when I play I just apply it to the bass. So the 3rd Uh, fret or the third dot on the guitar or the electric bass would be B flat on the G string on the double bass and then the fifth uh, fret or dot would be C a whole step up from B flat right and then continuing on the seventh fret seventh position I call it on the bass is D ninth would be E and then, of course, the octave of G. And that's how I do it. Oh, by the way, when I very first started out, um, I cheated a little bit. And uh, rather than put those ugly, uh, gaudy tapes on the, the fingerboard, like you see on a lot of beginning violin and other string students, instruments um, I chose. Somebody made this little suggestion to me and I thought it was would work pretty well. I got some whiteout. Whiteout is, uh, you know, comes in a little bottle from the office supply section at the store to cover up boo-boos on your uh, paper. Um, I took a little dot of whiteout and put them on the side of the, uh, the neck where basically only I can see it or maybe the percussion guys behind me in the orchestra. Um, and no one's ever commented about it, but so I actually have uh, more than third fifth set I've got. I started with the second, um, so it would be F sharp on the low E string or A on the G string, and then third, fifth, seventh, ninth, and then the octave. And that's how I've done it. I hope that helps you. It kind of helped me. Let me know if you have any questions, and until next time. Take care. Bye-bye.